Good evening everyone, I'm Thomas, Alfie's father. I thank Emmanuel and Steadfast Honours for organising this conference in memory of my little warrior Alfie. These days we remember the anniversary of the journey Alfie took up to heaven. I don't obviously have to tell you the pain and I that Kay feel, but Alfie brought joy to our life. He allowed us to meet fantastic people who share the same values. I'm here with you tonight to tell you about Alfie's legacy. Soon we will start a foundation in his name to help other sick children and their struggling families. Though his true legacy, the one for which we fought so hard, will be to guarantee the possibility of care and treatment to all the sick and disabled children. No patient should be as seen as a burden to the state. Never. Our experience, what we have lived, must be a wake-up call to those who govern and make laws. People rely on politicians to work for the common good of our health and that, can, that it can be protected. In England, the law guarantees the right of care for everyone, but all the judgments through which we have undergone have stated the best interest comes before the law. In this way, judges and courts carry forward a principle that is all subjective, based on, based on analysis, the evidence, the judgment might vary. Depending on how the evidence is, pre is, pre is presented, the judgment might vary based on the ability of the person or person representing the patient and the judgment might once again vary. I went to court alone. I certainly could not defend myself when my child was poorly. My knowledge of poor was my knowledge of law was poor too. I was tired a lot of the time and at times I was full of anger. Also for the whole journey I was full of pain. But I know what was right and I knew what was wrong. The court praised my perseverance but at the same time decided that only the doctors and their opinions could be heard. When there is no ordinary of treatments, the doctor's opinion cannot be subjected. The one who takes the oath to do its best to save lives should never think that a life is futile. Yet this is the case. This kind of doctor exists and unfortunately we have seen many of them. Where there is disagreement between doctors of medical experts, how can a judge believe that the other doctor the one with the personal beliefs based on preserve, preserving the life is less objective than the first doctor. Alfie was also Italian. We will never forget it and we are proud of it. I therefore ask today to Italy that who has done so much for my Alfie not to slip into the mainstream, though that they consider the sick, the disabled, the depressed and the most vulnerable as a burden of the society. I say it out loud, may Italy and its same principle have values towards the defence of life. The other European countries must know that there is a nation like the ours where we will save lives and have found principle and take example from it. Doctors or judges should no longer be allowed to decide who is worth living and who is not. Everyone deserves a chance at life and everyone deserves a chance at life of care and treatment. Everyone must be able to access a real part of care plan and a real part of care path and have the possibility in the most serious of cases of an adequate home and a support nursing group. This is Alfie's true legacy. Kate and I, with our little Thomas, will not give up. Steadfast, steadfast on us, as always, will be by our side, and we thank them once again.